And thanks for stopping by. So today I'm working on a compressor here, and uh, this thing is not running. I went through all the troubleshooting process to figure out what was wrong. Now I know what's wrong. If you're interested in watching the full troubleshooting, I did take a video of that as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and show you what's wrong. And what we've got here is this compressor it was super hot and. Uh, it wasn't drawing any amps, contactor was pulled in, power was, full power was going to the compressor. This is a three phase compressor so there's no start components and uh, it uh, was not turning on just like I said. So what we've got going on here is I've got this ice in this bag on top of the compressor to cool the compressor down and that's just to get it so that it's, it's thermal overload or it's overload resets. And uh, you can see around the top of this thing, it says LRA. LRA stands for locked rotor amps. And locked rotor amps on this thing is 65, about 65 amps. So this is a three phase unit. You can clamp your multimeter around any one of the three wires that's going to the compressor, uh, to these terminals right here, any one of those three. And we've got it clamped around there. Our multimeter is an amps alternating current. If you're looking for a multimeter, I'll link this one in the description. And now we're going to go ahead and turn this thing on. And if the re if the thermal or the overload has reset, this thing should start or try to start, and we'll see the amp draw. So here we go. I'm going to turn it on. 164, 58, 57, and then it went down to zero. So. That basically means that the compressor tried to start and that rotor, the compressor um, rotor is locked, it's stuck, it can't turn anymore and when it's stuck it draws that many amps. Now it was drawing about 60 amps but that's usually going to vary just slightly from the, what the actual LRA stamp is. The LRA stamp is based on an exact voltage, um, 200 to 230. so. 60 or 50 hertz, yeah. Um, either way, we've got a locked rotor. This compressor is shot, and that is how you diagnose a locked rotor on a compressor. Now, the only other thing I guess I would say uh, is uh, when you are going to test a locked rotor on a single phase unit. A single phase unit doesn't have three wires coming in on the main power, okay? Uh, you need to test one of, you can test one of the legs coming into the contactor from the main uh, because there's still going to be three wires going to the compressor. There's going to be uh, the start, the common, and the run, I think, are the three terminals. And you need to test the common, I think it is, to get the full locked rotor amps that it's going to be drawing. Otherwise, if you test one of the two legs coming into the contactor on a single phase unit, then you'll be able to see the locked rotor amps there. But if you were to test just like the capacitor wire, um, one of those three wires would be for the capacitor. That's going to be a lower amp draw than the other ones. So just something to note there if you're testing a single phase unit versus a three phase unit. So that's how you diagnose a locked rotor. If this helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Now we get to work on replacing this compressor. Oh, hit that bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos. Alright, we'll catch you later.